All right, y'all. One of my favorite things, one of my absolute favorite things in the world is when I forget to turn the mic on, film a whole episode and, you know, go back into the footage and be like, hey, I, I'm not talking. I can't hear myself talking. Uh, so we're going to be doing a video today over uh, spinner baits, kind of full time spinner baits, kind of the different styles of spinner baits. It's really going to be a crash course on spinner baits, focusing on the fall time. So we're going to be going everything, going over everything from, you know, types of spinner baits to the blades to the weights where to fish them, when to fish them, how to fish them. Uh, and we're gonna talk about trailers too. We're gonna talk about uh, some of my favorite style trailers to match up on your spinner baits because your style trailers can really, really impact how the fish are gonna eat your lure at different points of the year. We're gonna talk about my favorite fall time ones and we're gonna talk about a whole bunch, everything basically concerning spinner baits in this episode here. So, uh, you know, my thoughts on baits, they change every year. Uh, one of my biggest things going into marketing stuff for the company at like for tackle here was like how many how am i going to keep information fresh well i do that mainly by going out and fishing myself i'm able to read the conditions uh with my very limited time to fish i'm able to read the conditions kind of go out there formulate a pattern formulate uh reaffirm my thoughts on fishing and how they react to different trailers you know if i am fishing a spinner bait uh how they're reacting to different blade sizes blade colors and all that fun stuff so this is going to be a breakdown especially for fall time fishing for spinner baits we're going to be going over a couple here today but if you aren't already guys Leave a like on the video if you enjoy it at the end. Subscribe to the channel and definitely follow our social media pages, Instagram and Facebook at Lake Pro Tackle. You're gonna be updated day to day through the story, through posts on cool stuff we get in the shop here. So guys, check it out and let's go ahead and get it started. I've got a couple spinner baits here and we're gonna go over them. Let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six different spinner baits that kind of cover all the bases. And this is the uh, Booyah Covert. Now this is one of the favorite spinner baits by Jason Christie and your other Booyah pros like Stetson Blaylock. Um, this spinner bait here is very, very balanced. It's a very good spinner bait. There's different models of the blades and stuff, but overall the wire size, the head design, it's a very, very good spinner bait. And what's cool about it is that the head design, uh, we're gonna talk about this a lot. The head design allows it to plane through the water. It allows it to catch the water and have a good amount of uh, drag going through the water as well. So this one here specifically in the fall time has two willow blades and we're gonna be, we're gonna be focusing a lot on willow blades um, and let's go ahead and actually break down the blades. That's, that's a good place to start I think. You know the blades on a spinnerbait really make it a spinnerbait. You know uh, adding blades to a swim jig uh, that you know that makes a spinnerbait. Uh, the blades allow it to have flash. It allows it to have um, you know presence in the water. It's gonna thump and it's gonna allow it to have just overall a bigger profile. You know, if the way I think about it is like a spinner bait is like a mini A-rig to some degree uh, where you're putting out a bunch of different artificial lures, whether it's like a four blade spinner bait or like a two blade spinner bait or a single blade spinner bait. It is almost acting like a ball of bait fish um, or a school of bluegill, depending on what colors and bait fish you're trying to imitate, it can do a lot of things. So the different blades are gonna be uh, number one most popular is going to be the willow leaf blade and that is going to be um, denounced by the willow leaf style blade. So you know it's going to be longer, it's going to be skinnier, it's going to be able to be fished a lot faster than the other blades because it is so so thin and so uh, so streamlined basically. It's very hydrodynamic, uh, goes through the water very very easily. Next up is going to be the Colorado blade. All right, so the Colorado blade, what's great about the Colorado blade here is that it has a lot of thump to it. It's great in dirty water. It's great uh, out deep as well, especially when there's less light. Uh, but this is the Colorado blade here, guys. So the Colorado blade, uh, like I said, it puts off a lot of thump. It's a lot wider blade. So as you reel it, it's gonna go a lot slower. It's gonna thump a lot harder. And really the advantages of a Colorado blade, it, it allows you to slow down. Now, typically in the fall time, I'm not slowing down a ton. Uh, I'm moving water, I'm chasing fish, moving around to make sure I can keep on those fish. Um, and last up is going to be the Indiana blade. Now this one here, an Indiana blade is kind of a mix between the willow leaf blade and the Colorado blade. It's gonna have a good amount of thump to it. It's gonna allow you to fish, you know, pretty good, you know, around shallow cover. You can also fish out deep, you can fish open water. It allows you to do a whole lot of different things. So that's kind of breaking down the different types of blades, you know, colors, depending on your, on your water color, your forage, 
you can really get creative with it. You know, I've seen painted blades, whether they're white, you know, um, gold, silver, pink, uh, kind of that methylate color, that really bright color for dirty water. Uh, and let's kind of keep breaking down some of these uh, spinner baits here. So we went over the Booyah right here. It's a very great overall bait. Another great overall bait for me in the fall time is going to be a Santone Got 5. Now I've talked about this in past videos. It's super amazing. Uh, it's a very small profile. You don't need a ton of action on it because it has a willow leaf blade and it has a Colorado blade. Now the Colorado blade is a lot smaller Colorado blade that, that, than most spinner baits have and it allows me to fish it very shallow. I can sink it down a lot deeper. Typically, this one here, I'm not fishing in anything more than five foot, six foot of water, so it's gonna be more of a shallow spinner bait. I really like it around vegetation, um, working it over stumps, working it over trees. It's very, very effective at moving around cover. It's not very, uh, it's very weedless. It doesn't get stuck very much, and overall, it's just a great spinner bait. The one drawback to this bait is it has a very short shank on it, so the hook doesn't extend very far back, and that is one of the downfalls of this bait. So typically, I'm running a trailer hook on this one with a very, very low profile trailer, and we'll go ahead and get into those here in a little bit. But next up, guys, let's talk about some of my favorite baits here. So this one has been a new favorite of mine. Berkeley came out with this one, the Power Blade, uh, a couple years ago. Now, the Power Blade is a very great overall spinner bit you can see here. It's got two willow leaf blades. They have different um, iterations of it where it has a Colorado blade on it. Uh, and you also have some with uh, you know, different color blades. So there's a whole lot of different um, ways you can set this one up here. So overall for me, the head design is very, very solid. It allows you to get in small places. Uh, it's got a pretty decent sized head right, but it does have weight going down the shank of the hook here, which allows you to fish it very balanced. It has a very long hook shank as opposed to, you know, that Santone here. The hook shank is like a whole inch longer on this one. This one here is a great overall. I can fish it anywhere. It doesn't really matter, you know, different colors. I can imitate different bait fish. And that's kind of why I like that one as well so much. Next up, we're gonna be moving into your more shallow water stuff, more fall time, active, active fish. When that water temp is getting really cool, they're feeding up super heavy, pushing shad into pockets and stuff like that. Uh, this one here is the uh, Strike King uh, Burner Spinner Bait. This one here has very thin, willow leaf blades, like super thin. You can move, uh, move a ton of water with them, uh, or you can go through a lot of water with this one here. The head design is made to where um, it planes very, very easy, um, and you can work it at very, very high speed. So like a seven, eight speed gear ratio reel is what I'm using for this one. And basically all the spinner baits up to this one here, typically gonna be using anywhere from 15 to 17 pound line. I don't usually go over 17, especially on like this one here, the burner, because if your line is too thick and has line twist, it's gonna turn that spinner bait, it's gonna make it keel over, do some weird things, uh, and you don't want that. So we've got two more left here. So uh, this one here has been a new favorite of mine as well, the Freedom Tackle Spinner Bait. This is the Speed Freak. Uh, it's a compact spinner bait. It's gonna have that Indiana style blade on it. And like I said earlier, the Indiana style blade allows your bait to really have a erratic action on it without you imparting it yourself. So the Indiana blade, it's gonna spin normal, but just because it's shaped a little differently, it's gonna kick in different ways and allow you to get more reaction bites. This one here, the Speed Freak is great. I would say 10 and up, so 10 and shallower, it's a great spinner bait. Um, puts off a lot of thump, it's got the willow leaf and the Indiana blade, and it's a killer, killer bait. So it doesn't have a lot of bulk in the skirt on it. Um, typically, with this one, I'll be matching it up with a trailer that does put a little bit of kick. So we'll go ahead and get into that later. But my last spinner bait, I already showed it to y'all, but this is again, the uh, V&M Laboom spinner bait. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but I wish, they, um, I wish we had more in stock. Cause this one here is an amazing bait around uh, timber lines, around deeper brush piles, ledges, drop offs and stuff of that nature. 
because it has the Colorado blade guys, um, this one's gonna, gonna be like on the opposite side of my list from, from most of these. This is going to be kind of that one-off spinner bait where if I do find a really good school of them on a brush pile or fishing around a ledge or something like that, especially you guys on the Tennessee River chain, I'm sure you all know about a big spinner bait like this that thumps really, really hard. This one here is three quarters of an ounce, so it's gonna allow you to fish it at a decent speed uh, in deeper water and keep it down there. And the Colorado blade, of course, is gonna be pulsing a ton, a ton of water. So you're gonna wanna fish it pretty slow anyway. So let's go ahead and start matching these spinnerbaits up with the different trailers. And let's go ahead and talk about the trailers here. So, um, you know, the, I've got four main trailers that I like to use and kind of shift through depending on the seasons. Uh, first up is going to be the Berkeley, the deal. Now this one here, it swims like this through the water. Uh, if you rig it up on just like a Texas rig, it's a very balanced bait uh, and it's got two little kickers in the back. Sometimes I'll use both of them. Sometimes I'll cut one off depending on how the fish are hitting it uh, and depending on where in the water column the bait is being fished. So uh, this one here, so the Berkeley, the deal is going to be very, very ideal on something like the Freedom Tackle Speed Freak. It allows it to plane through the water very easily. It's not getting in the way and it doesn't have too much secondary action. Another one that I like to fish it on is going to be the Berkeley Power Blade Spinner Bait because of the same reasons. It does still go at different, different speeds. It doesn't blow out. And it's also a very, very subtle action on there. Those two little tails don't push too much water, which is really, really nice. And I do believe they make a little bit bigger size if you do throw some bigger spinner baits. Um, and the deal is also really great on the Booyah here. So uh, give the Booyah some love because it is just an OG, great spinner bait. Um, Next up is going to be kind of at the highest end of the spectrum uh, where you get the most presence out of your trailer and that is going to be this one here. So these are gonna be just your normal fat Kitex. Uh, we all know them, um, you know, your Strike King Rage swimmers, your Guggenbait Sassy swimmers or whatever they are. Um, these are paddle tail swim baits and when you put a paddle tail swim bait on the back of your spinner bait guys, Generally, it's gonna add lift to your bait. It's gonna add a lot of bulk. Your hookup ratio might go down uh, and you're gonna have to reel that bait a lot slower because that paddle tail is also catching water. Now, one thing that you can do, a little tackle hack for you guys, is that you can turn these uh, swim baits, instead of going uh, you know, normally how they would through the water, you can actually flip them upside down, rig them upside down basically, and that water is actually gonna push down on the bait, allowing it to stay lower in the water column. So depending where you're at, if I am fishing around vegetation, uh, it might sound a little opposite, but if I'm fishing around vegetation, um, shallow vegetation and like stumps and stuff like that, I will put it on upside down and I'm gonna have my rod tip up and it's going to kind of counteract each other and I can reel it super, super slow around that vegetation, fish very efficiently and effective around those areas. So this one here is very, very great for something like a Santone Got5 and also the, um, the big Laboom spinner bait, especially if I do wanna keep it down around stumps, around target rich environments. Um, my one big downside sometimes though, fishing, this one here, again, is hookup ratio. So when it comes to different hooks, you know, obviously they're gonna come out on different areas of your bait. This one here does have a pretty good hook gap in it. So one thing you can do also is rig that hook a little higher in the nose or lower in the nose, depending on, um, you know, where you want that to be, depending on your hook, it can, it can go right in the middle. I'm just saying hookup ratio might be swayed a little one way or the other, depending on how you rig it. Next up guys, um, this is very similar to the deal. This is the KVD Blade Minnow. A lot of people actually don't know about this bait, surprisingly. This one here is a great spinnerbait trailer, chatterbait trailer. Um, it is very, very similar to something like the Power Stinger, just in a smaller presentation. You can cut this down to whatever you need. And sometimes I will literally cut this almost all the way down, cut the main body off here and just stick this back portion onto the spinnerbait hook here. So that blade minnow can be super, super deadly if I don't want to put the whole thing on. And an example of not wanting to put the entire bait on a spinnerbait is going to be this one here. Now this is the burner again. It's supposed to go very fast. It's made perfectly to just burn. And if I just want a little bit of subtle action, I'm gonna be using this blade minnow on the back of it here, just allowing it to have just a little bit of kick 
Same thing goes for the uh, Freedom Tackle. If I don't want it to have too much action or ruin the action created by the Indiana Blade, the Blade Minnow is also another great option. Now, one of my favorite trailers of all time is actually this one right here. Uh, it doesn't provide a lot of action. It really just provides a little body to the bait, and that is going to be these guys right here. Check them out. So these are just the split tail um, trailers. I just really call them just like split tail uh, worms. You know, I can fish them on a Texas rig if I want, but these work amazing for trailers. So on something like a bladed jig, like a chatter bait, it works really well. But for spinner baits, it works exceptionally well, especially when you don't want to kill action on a bait. So again, like the burner, this is great if you want something finesse style. The sand tone, really all of these spinner baits, if you don't need something that provides a lot of action or lift or you know presence to the bait, you can add something like this on. It's just gonna add a little bit of body. It's gonna help the bait plane out just due to those twin tails just kind of kick in back there. And they don't have any like paddles on them, so you know they're just kind of free flowing. They don't do too much, but it allows you if you do want to impart action on the bait with a real twit or a real or a rod twitch, you're able to do that. So um, those are really my four main trailers that I go to. Uh, typically, the regular you know like swim bait like this one doesn't even come out that often. I'm typically going to be cycling between like the deal these guys here in like a blade minnow style trailer. Uh, and that's kind of what I got for you guys. You know, typically a lot of the baits that I'm fishing um, when it comes to spinner baits are gonna be uh, either the Santone body, the Berkeley body, or even the Freedom Tackle body. And something like the Burner or the Big Laboom or that Covert guys are gonna be coming out at certain times of the year specifically when I need that specific head design, that specific build. Um, and if, of course, I'm playing with blade sizes all the time, blade colors. Uh, gold sticks out really, really well in a little darker water. Silver is very, very bright all the time. So if you are around a ton of shad, having that silver or even having a matte white blade can really help you. So guys, experiment, experiment, experiment with a ton of colors, sizes, weights everything like that, you know, spinner baits, there's no one size fits all. Uh, and I firmly believe that, you know, just playing around with your tackle, trying it out there on the water is the best way to dial in what works for you. But confidence is key. So guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the second go around and I hope you enjoy it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Lake Pro Tackle and uh, check us out everywhere else. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.